Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and I don't know why, but I feel a little bit nervous to be recording this video. It's been so long since I started like a new proper series, like good old let's knuckle on down and start a challenge or a let's play. So I decided why don't we do a legacy challenge? Oh my word, I never ever ever thought that those words would come out of my lips. If you've been watching my channel, you will know that the 100 baby challenge and also legacy challenges just like are not my thing. I don't really really like how long they take and I very much fall out of love with my sims very very quickly. I'll be obsessed with them for like six months and then I'll be like okay I'm over you. However, I decided why not use that to my advantage and do the short lifespan legacy challenge that my pal Lil Simsy has been doing recently. Although I'm fairly sure that Kayla's been doing this for like almost two years now so why I decided to go with this decision is beyond me. If you're new here, my name's Molly. I go by the English Summer on the internet. My pronouns are she, her. Welcome on in. Oh my God, I just went into my Twitch live stream brain. That's usually what I say when people raid me, but I wanted to introduce myself just in case this is the first time you're ever coming across my videos or my channel. And we're gonna be doing the Nightmare Legacy Challenge for The Sims 4, 10 generations, short lifespan. Let's quickly check out the rules. Fish, bash, Bosh, that's what I like to say. So the rules are written by Matcha Cake. The challenge is simple complete 10 sim generations with the same family but on short lifespan. So this was inspired by Kayla, aka Lil Simsy. I also know Sasha has recently started streaming this. My besties, I freaking love them both so, so much. And they were kind of the inspiration behind this, but then Matcha decided to write it up. So I'm actually gonna be using the create a sim story function. I don't know if Kayla or Sasha have. I like how I was like, yeah, I get bored of sims after six months. So why don't I just let the game choose exactly who I'm playing and therefore I'll have no emotional ties to them whatsoever. They must be young adult. They must be immortal. Move your single sim into a starter home. I'm gonna start with nothing. I'm not even gonna have a home. There are two goals that you could do. There's story mode or there's nightmare mode. So in story mode, you have to complete your aspiration before coming an elder. You have to reach level 10 of your career, two skills, and at least one child. Whereas the nightmare mode, you have to complete two aspirations in your whole lifetime. You have to reach level 10 of your career, max three skills instead of the two, and have at least one child, because obviously this is a legacy. It has been so long since I did this. Oh my goodness. Afterwards, you can customize my appearance. No, I won't be. Everything is randomized. We're doing full on nightmare mode. I want chaos. It's why I decided to do this. Okay, so we have to be a young adult. So we'll go for that. The best way for me to relax is I think I chose new question. Okay, I'm gonna go mingle with the locals. I'm gonna just literally, I don't even, how do I feel about love? We'll see. Meditation is lights, camera. How much voodoo do I do to my friends for my own amusement? Causing emotional damage to your friends? What the heck? Oh, Acting oh, oh, is a means to... I think I'm just picking middle on everything. I am shutting my eyes. What's most important to me when selecting a place to live? As a child, I wanted to work. When taking a quiz, I... I was closest to that one. I don't even know. Oh, wow, Usually, I feel like people go for feminine sims, but this is fine. We can start off with a masculine sim. This is what he looks like. Hey, nice to meet you. Feel free to assign my gender, adjust my appearance, and select my clothing. Don't forget to give me a name. He is in the astronaut career. Who doesn't dream of going to space? As an astronaut, the galaxy will be your playground. So I have a bonus skill in logic. We also apparently have a skill in charisma and our starting funds are above average. He is a geek. He is 
romantic and he's a genius. Hey, I would say that's some pretty good flipping traits if you ask me. I probably would have assigned a couple of these. I wasn't planning on doing the astronaut career, but hey, it's been a while. Our first name is DeAndre and... Of course. Okay, we're manifesting. This is where it begins. We cannot be a singleton this whole time. I'm telling you this now, dude. Like, you need to you need to settle down and you need to start popping out babies, okay? Oh, he has fabulously wealthy as well as his aspiration. So this is his everyday wear, you know? I mean, we could definitely get new clothes as we progress. I feel like that's gonna be the best thing to do. A nice sage green. You know what? I am a gay. I do love sage green. Honestly, what is this facial hair? What is going on here? We have shoes in our sleepwear. I am one of those people that absolutely hate. I detest wearing socks in bed. Like they, my feet feel trapped. I get far too overheated, even though my feet are always cold. If I even think about having socks on in bed, I like, I'm like, no, don't do it. I'm liking these jeans. I mean, they're, they're kind of cute. Nope, moving on. I hope it's not hot where we're living. I decided, <laughs> matching the green. I mean, this is your cold weather, so I feel like you're gonna be very, very chilly. I like how his starting funds are above average, and literally, I'm just gonna bring him right back down to zero. Okay, so there's 17 worlds in the game, so we are gonna generate number 11. Please don't be vampires. Please don't be vampires. Please don't be vampires. Sulani! I feel like we're allowed to move. Like, this isn't a traditional legacy where it's like you only can live in like the one lot that you decided in for like 10 whole generations because that certainly is not gonna keep my attention of my small brain. See, now is this cheating? Because he technically already has a level three in charisma and also a level two in logic. And also in his career, he's a level three of the astronaut career. But I did use the story and like, that's a good way to randomize, I feel like. So we're gonna stick with it. He could have had like no traits I'm fairly sure and he could have had like a pretty crappy job um so we need to actually I need to turn testing cheats on and then I need to go money zero because we are not gonna have anything to our name I've decided that we are starting <laughs> What are you taking into the cave, Morty? What are you going in there with? Let's give a little friendly introduction to the one and only Mr. Mortimer Goth. I am actually playing in my own personal save file that actually isn't finished, so I do apologize if you see any naked sims wandering around. Ooh, oh, I thought that we could do something that, but we can only clean up. We're actually gonna go explore the cave and see if we can find anything. He wants to have a water balloon fight and enthuse about a new show. How do you even know what's a new show? Because you don't have a TV, so I would like to know. Ooh. Ooh, we have a wild pineapple plant. Okay, that's gonna be good. We can only clean these up, but I think we can go beachcombing, right? Maybe Sulani is a great place to start our legacy challenge because it actually means that we can like find stuff to sell, which I think is pretty, pretty sweet. What do we need to do for our career? We need to play chess. Oh, that means we need to get our hands on A. We're gonna comb for beach shells. Beach shells? Yeah, seashells. Deciding he couldn't leave the cave without signing his own signature along the wall, DeAndre followed his predecessors and now his name is emblazoned for a future intrepid spelunker. I, that is a awful word. Oh my God, we found the heart of Sulani? Are you kidding me? 185 simoleons. Oh, heck yes. You know what? I'm realizing that I could have made this even more of a nightmare mode if I like decided that we could only sell things by like taking them to other sims. You know how like James usually does in his rags to riches and stuff, but I'm not gonna do that. I, I don't want to cause myself that much pain. We got a tulip cell worth 50 simoleons. Beachcombing is 100% the way to go. Oh, he's overheating. No, no, we're, what we're not gonna do is die on the first episode. 
first generation of a brand new legacy. I know we're out here to cause chaos, but that's not gonna happen. Let's continue. 40 simoleons. Okay, that's all right. How much is a chess table? I swear, chess tables are like one of the most expensive things. Also, I shouldn't even be thinking about a chess table right now. I should be thinking about like building walls. What we're gonna do, you lot taught me a little like hackety hack. I do not know how to build in this game. I'll throw it out there. Usually I would go for like a tent and stuff first, but I just figured why not just start building the house? So we have to save some money. Can we get like anything that's gonna help our needs? We could get a bush. We could go for an open air natural toilet or I could just save my money, which honestly saving my money feels like the way to go. This is all like 200 simoleons. Wait, <gasps> we have some stuff from our, okay, I'm gonna, yeah, we got these from getting promoted, technically. Oh, uh, I kind of want to keep this, though. I think this is quite cute to have as a little, um, sort of, like, family heirloom. Whoa, nothing to see here, just plain old boring conch shell. I think I might save that. No, it said no occult, so I'm not gonna become a mermaid. Not yet, anyway, like, we may eventually. This one sells for 20 and then we got 130 <gasps> okay that's enough for some items i'm feeling like a fridge and then we should get ourselves a little cot bed we'll go for yellow considering he's wearing yellow right now i definitely would not be able to sleep next to this if a hotel room has a fridge in that i can hear i'm just like lying in bed like i'm that meme of chris from love island just like please end it all now. I hate it here. I have to have silence whilst I'm trying to fall asleep. I am that person. I'm so annoying. Imagine if I just put a loo right next to his head the other side. <laughs> that would be my worst nightmare of a home. Wait, after all that, I didn't even check how much the chess tables were. I feel like they're so expensive in The Sims 4. 450 simoleons. Let's head on out to, we'll go to the library first, which I will eventually put a library. I usually change this into like a little community center. So eventually we will do that. But for right now, let's head on over to Oasis Springs and the library. There isn't a library here. Of course there isn't. Let's go to Brychester because I know there's a library there. Oh my word, I forgot. This is short lifespan. We need to get to make him babies. We need to find someone to like settle down with quick. Maybe they won't even settle down. Who knows? Okay. We have a librarian over here. Let's go give a friendly cheeky little introduction to you. <gasps> You're also playing chess. So I am absolutely going Check to join it. your game. Oh, we have almost the same hair color. <gasps> we cheated. We told her that there was a bat outside. Oh my God. I don't think that's the way you should should win yourself a girlfriend. I don't think lying is a sturdy way to start a relationship, but hey, that's just, that's just me. Oh, you're leaving me? Did I cheat too much? Apologies. Oh, oh, she's showing off her toned abs. She's like, oh, you're an astronaut? You need to work out? I got you. I work out too. Wait, 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 wait. Someone really cute just walked in. I actually think Hilary Laurent is so stunning. So maybe I'm literally, I feel like a creep. Oh, hey, Dirk Dreamer. Fancy seeing you here. I hate a celebrity though. Not when it's a townie makeover. When it's my own, I will, I will have them. I will claim them as my own. I mean, they are. This librarian is hanging around me like a bad smell. She doesn't want me introducing myself to anybody else. <gasps> We're in a community lot. Has anyone like left any food anywhere. Ooh, there is this. So we could definitely dig just to get some more simoleons. Beachcombing? I never ever thought it would be the way to go in a legacy. Like when you start with nothing, did not think it was a good way to make money. And yeah, I feel like our seashells are gonna be roaming in it. No wonder she sells, she sells on the she shore. Blah, 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 blah. I can never say that one. That is one tongue twister that I will never ever get correct. Let's be real. I barely know how to form a coherent sentence like in my day to day life. So what makes me think that I'm gonna be good at tongue twisters. Coherent thoughts? Sorry, I don't know her. Oh, I'm silly. I was like hunting around 
friend, I was like, oh, can we eat raw fish in the game? I'm not too sure. I can't remember. Nice. But I bought a fridge specifically so that he could have quick meals. What, sir, we don't go jogging in the sea. He wants that extra traction. He's like, okay, I've heard that running on sand is really, really good for my fitness skill. Oh, we're going uphill as well? No, sir, do not run into a volcano. DeAndre, I know this is the Nightmare Legacy, but it hasn't got that bad yet. This is the first part. We cannot be running into molten lava. Wait, does that mean our lot has the like freaking chance of like setting on fire? <gasps> we actually don't. Do you lot want me to put traits and challenges on here? Do you just want me to like randomize these three? And do you want me to add any lot challenges as well? You should all let me know. These are all very open. This is a very, very open space for ideas. Think of the comment section as one little community brainstorm. It's the Nightmare Legacy Challenge and therefore I feel like this gives you lot the opportunity to absolutely bully me in my Sims game and just like yell random things for me to do and I'll probably do them because let's be real, it's airy season and I need to be enabled. Why can't your Sims like wash themselves? Wait, the water! Waterfall. They can wash themselves in the waterfall, right? <gasps> this is the best thing ever. Why have I never done a legacy challenge or a rags to riches in Sulani? Sulani is OP. Oh, sorry, Hillary. I brought Hillary here. And then she just started to wade anyway in the water. I fully forgot that she was here. <gasps> I wanna steal her away from Hector. Oh my God, this is actually getting our hygiene up all of the way. I love Sulani. This is the hill I have chosen to die on today. You're all gonna be like, oh my God, I can't believe you are an island living freaking apologist. Worst expansion pack ever. I personally don't think it's the worst in The Sims 4. I also don't think it's the best, but I don't have beef with it as much as other people do. But that's purely because I love my let's play that I did for Island Living. You know what? I'm very, I'm very, very biased and easily swayed. So far, this is the easiest bloody legacy challenge I've ever started in my entire Sims career. And I've been doing this for a while now. He's got his own little morning routine. He woke up, he had a ham and cheese sandwich, and then we're gonna go do some swimming around. I'm hoping that the, I never know if this is like an old wives tale of the Sims 4, but people say if your bladder is super low and you're like swimming in a pool or in a shower, like sometimes your bladder can go up. Like they've kind of like pissed themselves. And I kind of hope that that is the case. If so, I'm only doing legacy challenges in Sulani. I don't want to go to Batu. I'm trying to save my money. I don't need to spend it all on a lightsaber. I just need to get up his fitness skill, which is why he's going for a, for a morning swim. The voting period is almost over and Foodies Unite is in the lead. I don't think, do we have anything to be able to vote? Oh, we can vote three times. Back to the good old days. I think self-sufficiency is probably gonna be the best for us. I don't know why. Did he just wet himself? <gasps> you better not have. Don't go and drink milk. Wait, there's toilets. Sulani is OP, I called it. Favorite expansion pack ever. Please don't take that out of context. Just in the context of this legacy challenge, I promise. I'm gonna let him continue to beachcomb. So we need to carry on with our logic. We just need to go and play some more chess. We will save up for a chess board. I am not too sure how much we get paid. We get paid 59 simoleons per hour. We found the fingers of Sulani. 610 simoleons, never mind. What? That is a bit ridiculous. Oh my word. We're buying a chess table and a toilet. We are on the move. I was gonna wrap it up right there, but let me just get myself a cheeky little squatty potty for right now. Yep, it's going right next to us. <gasps> Do we have enough? Is it 420? Now we can afford a chess table. However, we also probably need to afford some chairs for it as well or else we won't be able to use it. Why does he constantly want to drink? Should I be wasting my money on a chess table when I should probably... We can woohoo. We can try for a baby in the 
waterfall. What am I talking about? We got one. Can we play by ourselves? His name is Singleton, so it would be shocking if he couldn't play by himself. Hell yeah, we can. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this first part of my nightmare legacy right here. You lot feel absolutely free to spam your ideas down below. Like I said, I want this to be a community collaborative effort. I know that you lot absolutely love getting to watch me suffer, so if there's anything you want me to do to make my life more of a living hell, please feel free to let me know. I hope you all enjoyed. I appreciate you all and I will speak to you in my next one.